This training program will take about 10 minutes. After watching this videotape, you will be involved in a group activity to test your proficiency of the information covered. So please get your paper and pencil ready to take notes while you watch this program. Keeping a restroom neat and clean is a never-ending job. Perhaps no other area in this type of building requires so much constant attention. A restroom needs regular cleaning maintenance, not only to keep it clean, but to control offensive odors and support a positive image of the building. All restrooms should be maintained on an hourly basis. This means the day custodian should police the restrooms each hour to check supplies and pick up trash. Each facility should be thoroughly cleaned daily as well. Let's start with an introduction to the products you will be using. You will be using a variety of products while performing your responsibilities. These products have been specially formulated to enhance your productivity and efficiency while maintaining your facility. For general cleaning of floors and walls, you will use a disinfectant cleaner diluted per labeled directions. It is critical to dilute the disinfectant cleaner properly with cold water so it works best. Check with your supervisor if you are unclear on how to dilute the cleaner correctly. It may also be necessary to use a cleaner that will remove graffiti. To clean the toilets and urinals, a ready-to-use toilet bowl cleaner is necessary. This is packaged in a quart container and can be used for daily restroom maintenance. It can be used to clean sinks, toilet bowls, and tile surfaces. For mirror and glass cleaning, a diluted glass cleaner and a trigger sprayer will be used. Clean cloths or paper towels should be used with a glass cleaner. Glass cleaner may also be used to wipe fixtures and stainless steel or for light spot cleaning. Odors and air freshening can be addressed by using a ready-to-use odor neutralizer in a trigger sprayer. It can be misted into the air or can be added to mopping solutions for instant odor control. Your supervisor can guide you as to what to use. Always remember that material safety data sheets, also known as MSDSs, are available for all products you will use during your cleaning procedure. Check with your supervisor on where they are located. To save time and steps, assemble all necessary equipment and supplies before starting the job. You will need a maid cart and trash container, a duster, plunger, broom and dustpan, mop bucket with wringer, rubber gloves, putty knife, cleaning cloths, safety glasses, wet mop, restroom closed sign, wet floor sign, keys for dispensers, toilet bowl swab, scrubbing sponge, scratch pad, and appropriate chemicals. Besides cleaning equipment and supplies, you will also need to have the appropriate paper products available. This includes hand towels, toilet paper, hand soap, sanitary napkins and tampons, urinal screens or blocks, and plastic trash liners. Once all necessary supplies, equipment, and chemicals are gathered, you need to announce yourself by saying, Service! Service! Make sure that no one is in the restroom before entering. Then, post a restroom close sign in the doorway. Remember, this is the time to check to make sure your gloves are on. Check the restroom for anything that is in need of repair and make a note of it. Report these items to your supervisor. Check lighting. Replacing burned out light bulbs or tubes, or make a note and report it to your supervisor. Knock down any toilet paper or gum you see on the ceiling or walls with high duster or broom onto the floor. Then high dust partitions and doors with the duster. Also, pay particular attention to the vents and window sills. Secure all the windows at this time, if appropriate. Inspect all the toilets to make sure none are clogged. If you do discover a stopped up toilet, try unplugging it yourself. If you are unsuccessful, contact your supervisor. 
pick up all large trash such as cans and bottles. Then sweep floor thoroughly using the broom. Make sure to pick up all gum and other deposits on the floor with a putty knife. Use your broom to sweep behind the toilet stools and other hard to reach places when necessary. Sweep up all trash into the dustpan and dump it into your trash container. Next, restock all soap dispensers with appropriate replacement stock. Paper and sanitary product dispensers should be restocked as well. After replenishing these products, wipe down each dispenser with disinfectant cleaner out of a trigger sprayer using a clean cloth. Next, empty all trash receptacles and wipe out the receptacle with disinfectant cleaner and a clean cloth. Be sure to include the feminine product receptacle as well. Insert a new liner properly. Next, spot clean the walls, partitions, and doors with the disinfectant cleaner. Pay attention to areas that receive the most abuse and traffic. Graffiti and heavy dirt marks that have been made by kicks to the wall should be cleaned with graffiti remover and cloth. Sometimes a scrubbing pad needs to be used to remove these types of marks. Wipe all sinks clean with a disinfectant cleaner and cloth or paper towels. Make sure to clean the pipes under the sinks as well as the underside of the sink too. Spray mirrors with your glass cleaner, wipe to remove all smudges and to dry the surface. Glass cleaner can also be used to clean stainless steel kick plates on doors, light switch plates, or other fixtures. Next, move to the toilets and urinals. First, remove cigarette butts and trash from inside the urinals and toilets. Spray disinfectant cleaner on the toilet seat and the wall around and under the urinal. Let it sit for 10 minutes. Then clean toilets and urinals with the toilet bowl cleaner. Push the swab into the toilet hole and lower the water by plunging the swab swiftly into the hole. Once the water is out of the toilet bowl, apply the bowl cleaner and swab the interior of the bowl thoroughly. Toilet bowl cleaner is applied to the interior walls and base of the urinal as well. Now, wipe down toilet bowl seats both top and bottom with a clean cloth. Rinse them with a clean sponge or cloth. Leave the seats up for complete drying. The handle on the toilet and urinal must be cleaned thoroughly with disinfectant cleaner. Lastly, be sure to flush all toilets and urinals when you're through cleaning them. Next, place a wet floor sign inside the restroom doorway. Using the mop bucket method, dilute the disinfectant cleaner properly and mop around the toilets and urinals with disinfectant cleaner solution. This will destroy bacteria as it removes built up soils. Continue mopping over the entire floor area of the restroom with the disinfectant cleaner. Work toward the door so you don't leave tracks. To keep odors to a minimum, Pour disinfectant cleaner into floor drains by either dripping the solution with a mop or pouring the solution directly into the drain. Spray odor counteractant into the restroom after cleaning. Odor counteractant can also be applied to areas inside the restroom, such as behind the urinals and toilets, to reduce odors. Turn out the lights to the restroom and leave the wet floor sign on the floor. Remove the restroom closed sign and take your cart to the supply closet. After 30 to 45 minutes, or as soon as the floor dries, you should return to the restroom and retrieve the wet floor sign. As with any cleaning activity, return all supplies, chemicals, and equipment and organize them properly for the next day. If you have any questions or need help with your cleaning tasks, ask your supervisor. Remember, the cleanliness of a restroom is very important for the student, faculty member, or visitor using it. It is your responsibility to always provide a clean and pleasant environment in the restroom. <laughs>